So, I heard that you were going to be here. My entourage told me. Come, come closer. Alright, there we go. So, entourage of mine told me that you needed some makeup. So, I know that you're not, like, in the cool group, aka my, <laughs> but listen, you need to not tell anyone that my face without makeup looks like this, because if you do, I will destroy your high school life. <laughs> I'm just joking, but don't. So I have my makeup here. And this bag is the greatest, highest quality makeup in the universe. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing it on you, of all people. I mean, you're not that bad. I mean, you're smart and all that. You're, you're kind of cute. If you wore more, like, skirts instead of, like, what are those? <laughs> Jeans? You might get a little bit more popular or try some books or something. Not converse. But again, I'm helping you which is I have compassion. Alright, so let us get started. This is this. My True Blend Liquid Makeup Base. I put this on, usually, I put this on before my foundation because it really, really smooths over. You also need to not tell anyone that I have glasses. Like, I mean, I wear them at home because, like, they help me see the TV and read, but I usually wear contacts to school, so, yeah. If you snitch, I'll just read. You primarily don't need much because your skin, again, that's like a good thing about you is that your skin is perfect. I use a tissue for this because I find that it looks softly. Okay. to make me feel you're not my therapist honestly i prefer to be myself but i got a reputation to keep so don't snitch and maybe i'll let you see with me okay so now the back's on we have this this is the greatest foundation and it has the l brush too so like now it's all working out it's all Gucci as they say but I'm not a nerd so I don't alright now this I'm just using it to smooth it all So, you are looking not terrible right now, but still not great. Okay. Again, not mean, just 
honest reputation. See, even I sometimes will put it on my hands just to smooth them out. So, there's a little lesson. Girl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara, which I always use. Well, not this particular bottle. This is my guest bottle. Cause ew, but yeah. Don't blink. Check my now because I have a life to live. <sighs> Nothing, what a surprise. Uh, no one probably felt brave enough. There's one. You're looking pretty. I know, for me, that's a big compliment. Okay, so now... I have this, like... I have at least... pencil and this is again cover girl I use cover girl for my eyes because I think the effect that they give I mean this is like a really on point okay it works always tested there so carefully along your eyelid and then I always end up putting on eyeshadow after this because I find that it creates like a kind of smoky effect with it, which is really it right now. I'm just gonna blot it a little bit. Okay, so right now the blotting of this looks really say so myself. And now, I have Maybelline eyeshadow palette, and this is really my main palette that I use, and then it's in my personal makeup bag, because I like the like, softer tones with it, and I really think that this, I, what I do, is what I'm going to do for you. Your skin is a little bit, like, creamier than mine, so I'm going to first put down this sparkly auburn brown here, and then I will go over it with a light tan. I always keep tissues next to me for this. And then this is the light tan that I brush over it with just to get the perfect effect. I know, right? It's like so relaxing. Close your eyes. It's like so relaxing. 
So now that we have that done, I have this Cover Girl highlight. Now a lot of people use a highlighter stick, but I actually will sometimes use a contour just used by highlights on cheeks because it can very much pass and well, very much and well, for you can, no, that wasn't grammatically incorrect, you can say it in very much well, you can't, oh, okay, well, forget I did that then, and you can highlight really well, and I think for you, I'm going to be using this peach, along your cheekbones, which are really pretty, by the way. Alright, and then again, a tissue. Blending is key. I can tell you that much. Oh my gosh, this makes such a great sound. Listen. ASMR is kind of taking over the world. I really love it, though. I'm actually thinking about trying to make my own makeup on a tutorial post. Right, so now we have your eyeshadow and eyes and your face down underneath the skin part. But now we gotta get onto the others. Hence your lips. Now this is for my personal collection, so you can count yourself lucky that you're even beginning to do this. Oh my gosh, I forgot the important part. I forgot your blush. Like, who's gonna go out with that many blush on? Not me, that's who. And not you either. Perfection. I have this Urban Decay Black, which I think would look not as good, but you can mix this black with this purple and make like a bruise color, which would look really cute. No, not the black. Okay, good. You know what's good for you. There is a trick that you can do, but it involves this NYX Soft Matting Lip Cream, which I think is just really pretty color. And the, here it is, and there's a really neat hack you can do with it. If you pick this one, I can show you. Okay, this other one is this lip gloss, which I like, and I think that I'm going to put on right now. Because no makeup is just not right. But then it has this color. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing with this. So what you do is you put on stripes along your bottom lip. One, two, three. And then on top, one, two, three. And then you'll need, you'll need a Q-tip for this part, it's very important. And then you use the purple, and you do one, one, two, three, and one, two, three long. But then you get a cotton ball, 
and then you spread it around like that and it creates this really really pretty like effect of like a purplish red it's so pretty you look oh my god you look so good so much better than you did when you came in here I mean, your freckles are visible beautiful Then it's also a brush. And I really like it. I really like it because it's very shiny, except like I'm not five, so I'm not gonna bring this into school, but I secretly really like it. But also, you should know I did clean it, so don't think that you're gonna get all my hair germs. So I'm just gonna quickly brush my hair into a really pretty Your hair softer than I thought. Girl, you need to stop wearing those weird braids. Like, you know how you have always like that French braid thing? And you need to just start wearing it down like me. Alright, you're pretty alright now. Now here's the mirror. So you know you can you see yourself? Yeah, yeah, you look so good. Like so, so good. Now, look, I kind of have connected with you a little bit today. And I would just like to say a huge thank you by getting you a bit of my makeup. I'm going to give you one of the most important things. to give you not only an elf highlighting brush but this pro matte high definition long wear matte foundation because your skin it's tanner but this is a tan color it's really good and there's also this I L'Oreal Relative Eye Cream that I use and it makes my eyes so smooth. I love it so much. So I'm going to send you off with these gifts. Except don't tell anyone that because they probably think that I hang out with weirdos. Because you kind of are weird, but then you're also kind of all not weird. I want to say I've enjoyed this time, and you look gorgeous, and I hope you've taken my tips, and I know that I say that I order them from New York, but really, I just get them out of CVS. They're really cheap, you can use them, and they're good. You will look fabulous if you use this every day at school. Alright, I love you. Well, not like love you, love you, but like I love you and how you look right now. So, I just want to say goodbye, and we should do this again, and I'm not going to be all sappy bondy, because, you know, I have my friends, but you look fabulous, and I'm so glad that we had this time.